Throughout my entire career, I've been using MacBooks, ThinkPads, and yes, I admit it, some Dell Inspirants as my daily drivers when it comes to notebooks. But that will come to an end pretty soon. Why? Let's find out. MacBooks and ThinkPads are understood to be the notebooks for professional use. Probably one or the other Dell devices amongst those as well, but the point is those devices are the ones you would opt for when having to find a professional device. That is great, that is awesome, and that is fundamentally wrong. Let me explain. Back in 2014, Apple introduced their then latest MacBook 15-inch Retina notebook, and the Retina display was a game changer. Um, that display was awesome. The notebook was fast. It looked great. It was truly a dream machine. But Apple did not only introduce the Retina display, they also introduced soldered RAM and a proprietary SSD device, which was literally impossible to exchange for a better one. That changed a bit later, but back then that was the status. And by doing that, they paved the path towards what we have now. Now we have professional notebooks, which actually are not upgradable anymore. Not only is the RAM soldered and the SSD probably proprietary, no, you cannot even open the devices anymore. They are glued together and that is for your benefit, as they say. It makes the devices look slicker, they say. It makes them more sturdy, they say. But actually, and in fact, it prevents you from opening the device, it prevents you from repairing those devices, and it forces you to buy a new device if you want to have an upgrade over what you actually purchased some years ago. And to me, that is a fundamental issue. That troubled me quite a while, um, but I did not find any solution on that because every single professional notebook was literally unserviceable. There are differences in the level of service, but that's not the point here. The whole story changed in the middle of 2021. I saw a video by Linus Tech Tips and I read about a new notebook. It was called the Framework Laptop. And that device was literally a dream coming true. A notebook that is slick looking, has a gorgeous display, is slim, and it is upgradable. In fact, Framework did not only create a notebook being nice looking and repairable. You can in fact upgrade the device and that is not something they, you know, just accept. No, it is the center of what they designed. You should decide when buying the device what you want to have in it initially. Later on, you can simply open the device by unscrewing five screws and then everything is open to you. You can exchange the battery once it becomes depleted. You can exchange the RAM. You can exchange storage. Heck, you can even add a second SSD device if you want to. You can exchange the display and you can even exchange the whole main board for a new component. And best of all, the old main board, if it is still working, can run outside the laptop just fine. And then there is another thing that always drove me mad. With all the great notebooks we have on the market today, you are limited when it comes to I.O. ports. That is not different with the Framework laptop. It still only has four I.O. ports. But you decide which port is where and which actual ports are exposed. See, the I.O. ports are modular as well. You can just get them out, exchange them for a different one and off you go. And you can even do that by running a notebook. To me, that is a game changer. 
specifically considering the fact that Framework actually wants you to alter your device. They offer you two options for buying that one. One option is a completely pre-assembled device, which is still completely serviceable. You can open it, you can exchange components as you like, but it is completely done when you buy it. The other option, and I went for that one, is the DIY model, the do-it-yourself model. That model allows you to bring your own components and integrate them into the notebook. I ordered mine without RAM and without storage. Later on, in the future, because that is Framework's business model, I will definitely head over to their marketplace and buy new components, buy a new SSD, even if that one might be a bit more expensive compared to when I buy it off Amazon. But the point is, they give me the choice. They give me the freedom to update things. They give me the freedom to exchange components. That is actually part of the business model. And that makes that company so very special. I'm sold on that. I ordered my device yesterday. I will receive it in like six to eight weeks. We'll see when it comes. But once it comes, I'll definitely report back on that. So, what do you think? Is the idea of an upgradable and serviceable notebook something you would go for? Would you be willing to pay the small, and it's actually truly a small, premium they ask you for? Let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to hit the notification bell, because it helps. Thanks for watching, see you later, and don't forget, let's make the world a better place.